Hello guys and welcome back to the final episode of this season. Um, this is the last three games um, of this sort of uh, this sort of season for us. We're currently sitting top, which is fantastic. Um, but obviously we've still got three games to play and that all can change. Um, also stick around at the end to see how it all finishes. And also as well in the comment section below I will leave um, some candidates for players or like fans player of the year. Um, I'm going to have a manager's player as well of the year. Um, I just think it'll just spice it up a little bit. So uh, yeah look in the comment section at the end of the video um, to see who you think deserves it and just comment it below. But without further ado let's jump into the first game against Accrington um, who are currently sitting 20. 24th in the league to rock bottom. Obviously, I know they are currently 24th in the league, but here we are at the town park against Accrington. And uh, yeah, like I said, it, they might be rock bottom, but this is such an important game, especially if we want to win the league. Um, every point now is vital, as you can see it's very, very, very congested at the top there. Um, everyone's within points of each other. They are currently bottom and they could get out of the relegation zone as well. Um, I think, um, I didn't see who were fourth, like fourth from bottom, I think they were on 45 points. Um, but obviously three points for them today could really help them out, so they might be gunning for us as well. Um, but let's jump into the lineups. So the way they're going to line up today is they've got Salmon in goal with Burgess, Sammer and Hughes in defence with Ogle and Maguire out wide, Butcher, Connolly and Schiff in the midfield and then Charles and Bishop as two strikers today so they are going to be looking to go with some firepower. So the team that I've elected for today is Eastwood in goal with Moore, Tucker, Long and Guinness Walker in defence. We've got Sykes, McGuane and then Kai Kai just behind the strikers pulling the strings. We've got Brown and Henry out wide and then Matty Taylor as our lone striker. The formation hasn't changed um, but a slight change in personnel as Long's going to come in for Claire at right back and Kai Kai is going to be sitting just behind the strikers with Sykes sitting a little deeper where he can maybe pull a few more strings. Um, obviously with them being at home here at the town of Park, they are going to kick us underway. So let's get this one started. Not even 10 minutes in and Accrington now look to push forward. It's with Ogle out wide. As you can see, they are putting a lot of pressure on us. Even the wing backs are coming forward. They've got Ogle now. He's going to try and fizz this one into the box. Yes, it's going to come off. It's Bishop and that's a great save. Oh my days. Thankfully we can get rid of the danger now, but that is a fantastic save. It's been all Accrington Stanley so far as they push forward again this time with Charles. He's going to find Sheriff out wide. He's going to pull it back to Bishop. Bishop sees the space for Charles and he's going to drag it just wide of that right post. But oh my days, they are, they've got like a brick wall in the defence. Um, they get everybody behind the ball but then they just break when we attack them. And they are causing us some serious problems at the moment. Just over the 25 minute mark. It's with Ackington in their own half. It's with Hughes out wide. He's going to pick out Butcher in at the midfield. Sees Connolly. Connolly now going to pick out Bishop. Bishop now sees the ball over the back to Charles. Charles to try the strike. And this time it's just wayward and wide. Um, I don't really think he's going to cause us too many problems from that angle. Um, and as you can see there, it's blasted over the bar. 30 minutes in now and finally we have a bit of possession, it's with Sykes in the midfield, he finds Taylor, Taylor now and as you can see they've got 5 men back, 1 out wide, it's going to be Sykes who's going to run at them, take on the whole defence, why don't you lad, little flick up, little drag back, can he find anyone out, yes it's a pass into the box, it's Kai Kai and he just can't quite direct the header on and I think he was actually beaten to the ball by the defender uh, but as you can see once again if anything's going to be created for us it is going to be Sykes who's going to take take on those three centre backs um, that time we just couldn't make anything from it but we have won ourselves a corner it's going to be Henry now to flick it into the box and unfortunately it is cleared Ball again with Ackington as they look to march down that left side. It's Sheriff now is going to pick out Bishop. Bishop now driving in to the centre. Can he pick out anyone? He's going to go for a shot on his own and that's a good save there from Eastwood. And all game it's been the same. As soon as we attack them they come back in at numbers. We can't get across uh, because of the amount of bodies they're actually throwing forward is crazy. Um, this definitely doesn't look like a team that are rock bottom, um, but I would imagine when you've got all, it all to lose, you uh, you start to play play for it a bit more. It's going to be Butcher now over the corner. It's going to probably look to fizzy short, and we're going to try and get that header away. It's going to still fall to him. It's going to fall to him at the back post, and that's a good save again. And the ball at the minute is it's a nightmare to get rid of. As you can see, it's a goal. I've scramble there. It's a shot. It falls to him again. And that's a good save there from Eastwood, just using his body, making himself big and getting two strong gloves behind the ball. 
it's Butcher again to take the corner. 42 minutes deep now. It's going to go to the edge of the box. They're going to control it. We're going to win the ball, but no, we're not. It's going to fall back to Hughes now in the box. It's going to knock it back to Butcher. Are they going to create anything from here? Sheriff now picks out Connolly. Connolly trying to drive forward. It's a tackle there from McGuane. McGuane sees Brown out wide. Brown now has got the pace. They've got too many bodies forward. We're marching forward. Brown, now we know how creative he can be from this wide angle as he looks to drive him wide, he's going to cut the defender short shot and it's a great save, oh my days, once again Brown, another player that we can always rely on to create, so he just stops the ball dead, knocks it inside and gets the shot away, it's a good save though from the Accrington keeper to push it out for a corner, right on the edge of half time, Henry now fizzes it into the box, it's cleared and that is going to go out for a throw in. Literally seconds remaining in this half. It's Sykes now. Can he create anything? No, he's going to be intercepted. They're going to look to push it forward now with Ogle. Ogle knocks it just outside of the box, and the ref is going to blow for half time. We go in 0 0, and they have ruled this first half. Uh, we need to come out with something a little bit more uh, exciting if we are going to get anything from this game. And just remember, every single point um, up to now is vital for us. Second half now underway and hopefully we can be a bit more creative in this half. 66 minutes in it to the second half now we are. They look out wide for Maguire and like I said they are pushing everybody forward. It's still the same as the first half. They're going to knock it back now to Sheriff. Sheriff now is going to fizz it in to the box. Find Charles on the edge. Charles sees Ogle out wide. And the goal is found there by the wing back and like I said... They were pushing everybody forward. Um, this time it's Ogle, who I believe is their right wing back, um, who's come up with come up with a goal. Nice bit of play from Accrington, and you can tell this is a team that don't want to get relegated. Um, they have been the better team. They've pushed loads of players forward, um, but also because of the amount they've got defending, they have worked their socks off to keep us at bay, and obviously they've got the reward with the goal. Just over 70 minutes now, it's with Guinness Walker, he's going to pick out Kai Kai, Kai Kai now sees Telford, Telford going to try and drive into space, he's got it in his locker, yes he has and it's a save there, can we pick up the ball, no we can't, just approaching that 80 minute mark, it's going to be McGuane to find Brown out wide, he's going to be on his bike now, out wide, little cut inside, we know he loves that ball roll, what a ball, that is an absolute pearl of a ball, little cut inside by Telford, Telford now, yes he's going to find that side netting, and I tell you what, Brown is such a live wire out on that left wing. Telford, give him his due. He sends the uh, defender roller blade in as he tries out his new roller skates and goes absolutely flying. Telford then just slots that ball past the keeper. And finally, we have found the way round the keeper and the defence. The dying embers now, we have a throw in, in our own half, there's three minutes of stoppage time to play, Telford now marching forward, he's going to be intercepted, can he win the ball back, yes he can, no he can't, it's going to be sure if now, who, so we, oh we actually got a free kick, I do apologise, Kelly now takes a free kick quickly, it's going to be Sykes now, and who else would you want marching at front in the defenders, he's going to try and cut in the box, and that's a great tackle, oh my days, full credit to the defender there, as they now look to break forward, Burgess gets hold of the ball, but the ref is going to blow for full time. We do pick up a point today away from home, um, but again against a team who are currently rock bottom. I was expecting all three points, um, which is obviously what we need to win this league title. Um, so it's not a fantastic result for us, but we still have another two games to pick up six points. Um, and seven points out of a possible nine is something that I can sleep on and be happy with. Second game of the episode now as we go up against Doncaster, they're 20th so they're going to need all three points to try and get themselves out of the relegation zone, but let's jump into it. And here we are for the second game of the episode against Doncaster at the Cass Sam Stadium. Like I said, these games are crucial for us, we need to pick up all three points, obviously we only picked up a point um, last game, so obviously we need to come out in this uh, this game and be a much different team um, and hopefully pick up all three points. We've changed the formation slightly, but on that topic let's jump into the lineups. So the lineup for ourselves is as followed. Uh, like I said, a few changes. We've got Eastwood in goal, Moore, Tucker, Claire, and Guinness Walker. So Claire's back in the team. We've got Kelly, Brunagan, and Sykes in the midfield. And then Henry, Brown, and Taylor. And Sykes is coming back into that uh, centre attacking mid role um, just because we know how deadly he is from that sort of position. 
So the lineup for Doncaster, they've got Bursic in goal, Anderson, Wright, James and Halliday in the defence, Gomez, Whiteman, Taylor and Richards in the midfield with Coppinger a centre attack in mid and then Tulloch as the lone striker. So thankfully they're not going to be uh, going with two up front like um, like Ackington did because that caused us some problems having those two to defend. We know our defence, um, we play very attacking football so it struggled a little bit to keep uh, sort of keep tracks on, track on both of them. Um, so just having one striker might be a little bit easier for us. But here we are at the Kassam Stadium to kick this one off. Eight minutes in now and we have possession in our own half. It's Brunaga now who's going to see the runner Sykes. Sykes is making that little run. Is he offside? Is the flag going to go up? No, it's not. It's going to be Sykes now to run one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And I don't really need to say much more, do I? There it is. Ten minutes in and the magic man Sykes putting him back into that attacking midfield role, which was probably the downfall last game. Um, and he's cropped up with another another goal. I don't know how to describe like how good he is. He's just he knows the runs to make. He's got in behind all the defence, and then he should, he, he's finishing his second to none, none as well. Um, and that's another goal for our captain, our skipper, Mark Sykes. Twenty minutes in now, and there's not been too much action since the last goal. It's Sykes now is going to pick out Kelly. Kelly now marching forward. He's going to find Taylor with a little flick over the back for Sykes. Is he going to keep the defender off? Yes, he is. As he goes one on one with the goalkeeper, can he finish it? And do I need to say any more? Again, it's Mark Sykes. This guy is just an absolute wonder. It's it's almost as if we don't need another t like the rest of the players around him. All we need to do is just pass the ball to him and let him do the rest. Um, he's been fantastic, he's come back into that attacking midfield role and he's bossed it and Doncaster don't know if they're coming or going at the moment. Um, he's got his second and he's the more on the horizon for him as we lead 2-0 at home today at the Kassam Stadium. Just approaching half time now as Doncaster finally look to march forward. It's Tulloch and as you can see somehow they're absolutely knackered. Um, they've only played a half uh, so whether they're being worked into the ground that might be the downfall of Doncaster at the moment. They're trying to work this one in to the box. It's with Richards now out wide. Is he going to pick out anyone? We were a little bit timid to put any tackles in. Um, we're just sort of shepherding them and they found a bit of space here with Halliday. Halliday now sees Gomez. Gomez finds Tulloch. Great tackle there from um, Claire to win the ball and the ref is going to blow for half time as we're going 2 0 up and it is the Mark Sykes show at the moment here at the Kassam Stadium because our skipper is decided he's going to do it all himself and gain us that league title on his own. So it's now Doncaster to kick us back off and I would like more of the same, please. Still, as we look at more the dominant team, we look to push forward into their half. They pick out a ball out wide to Henry, and oh my days, pull up your trousers. Some what a ball to the back post. It's going to be Sykes. And that's a good save there from the Doncaster goalkeeper. What an absolute pearler of a ball that is from uh, Henry, and he doesn't get enough credit from me um, because some of the balls he plays into the box are just perfect. Uh, that's why I'm not really looking for a right winger, just because he is the distributor. It's Henry now to take the corner. It's flicked into the box. Nothing really going. Kelly's going to knock it down now to Brown, who's going to try the shot, and they can clear the danger this time. Time for some wholesale changes. Machino, Kaiko, and Telford are coming on for more Sykes and Matty Taylor. Unfortunately, Matty Taylor had disappeared and turned into Casper the Ghost there. We love you, EA. Keep doing a great job. Anyway, it's Doncaster now to take the free kick in their own half. They boot it forward. We're going to win the ball. It's going to fall to Kelly now. Kelly finds Kai Kai. Kai Kai now using a few little skill moves to pick out Kelly again. It's back out wide to Henry. Henry now with another pearler into the box. It's Telford arriving. And he makes it three. He's been on the pitch the all of sort of seconds. Um, obviously in fever time it's probably about five minutes. But you know, we'll ignore that fact for now. And can I also again just please address. Look at the ball from Henry because he doesn't ever get enough credit from me but this is what he does every single game like that's two now he finds Sykes and the keeper made obviously a good save and this time he finds Telford and Telford finishes it but we are splitting them open at the back with these like killer balls from out wide and obviously we make it 3-0 
83 minutes on the clock. Doncaster looking to push forward. They've caused us no problems all game, but they're still looking for their first goal. It's Whiteman now. Whiteman picks out Williams. Williams to Gomez. Gomez looking tired, but still going to try and carry on. He's going to be intercepted here by Guinness Walker. Guinness Walker now sees the run of Telford. They've got nobody's back. They're trying to go for that goal. They've got no one back. It's going to be Telford one-on-one, -on -one, and he's going to side tap it into that right-hand corner, and he makes it four. 4-0. Oh my days. What a performance today. Uh, we've really bounced back from that, uh, from that, well, it felt like a loss, but from that draw um, away at Accrington, we've come here in our own back garden and we have absolutely smashed Doncaster 4-0. Very little time now for Doncaster to get even a goal. It's Lock, Lockilo, I think that is, who's going to be intercepted now. It's Guinness Walker's going to push it forward. Awful pass. It falls to Doncaster now as they look to create something. It's a header and it's an easy gather there for Eastwood. Eastwood now going to launch the ball out wide and the ref is going to blow for full time. We pick up all three points today um, at home and as you can see the fans are jumping for joy and I think that is enough to gain us promotion to the championship. Um, it's not enough to win us the league um, but obviously at the moment it's enough to gain us promotion. It looks like someone's dropped the camera. Um, it's disappeared now so someone's picked it up. We love you EA carry on doing this great stuff but we are definitely going to be playing championship football next season um, it just depends now whether we can go on and win the league and it's time for the final game of the episode against Fleetwood away from home their third this game is crucial for both teams if Fleetwood want automatic promotion then obviously they need this win um, and then they need Hull to lose their next two and if we want to win the league we need Hull to at least lose one and we need to win today uh, so a lot riding on the game and here we are at Crown Lane against Fleetwood like I said this game is of massive importance to both teams great way to end the season not for myself obviously I'd prefer that these games didn't matter uh, but obviously they do and uh, yeah um, I'm, I'm a bit nervous for this one we're going out with what I still believe is our strongest team but obviously Fleetwood are going to want all three points as well and we are in their back garden so the lineup for Fleetwood Town they've got Lou Lutwila in goal they've got Stubbs, Hill, Andrews and Palmer in defence with Rossiter Court, Morris, Burns and Duffy in the midfield and then Evans up front or Evans up front no real changes to tell you about against a team that beat Doncaster. We've got Eastwood in goal, Moore, Tucker in defence with Guinness Walker and Claire out wide. We've got Kelly, Brunagan and Sox in the midfield with Brown and Henry on the wings and then Taylor up front. Like I said, not too many changes um, going out with the team that obviously runs home against Doncaster 4-0. Um, I feel like that is probably going to be our best team for today's game. We all know how important it is that we do pick up the three points. So yeah... I don't want to take too many chances. Fleetwood now to kick us off. Duffy has got it in the midfield. He's going to go out wide now to Morris. Morris back to courts. Looking to march forward. I don't expect that it's going to be too uh, too adventurous as both teams need a win. So the defences could be high. Um, and we might just be looking for a chance to break. But they're still keeping possession from kickoff. Passing it around, it's Evans, Evans now who gets it down. We try to clear it, it falls back to Duffy. Duffy, little pass back to Courts, who's going to find e Evans in space, and it's a good shot there. And if I call him Evans once more, I do apologise. Um, it is Evans, but they've worked that really well. Um, it's a good strike from outside the box, and it's an even better save there from Eastwood. Uh, Fleetwood applying the pressure early on. Uh, so we uh, we need to sort of fix up, we're five minutes in and so far we've been under the pressure. It's going to be a corner now for Fleetwood Duffy to take, flicked into the box and we are going to clear. Twelve minutes in now and Fleetwood still ruling the game, it's Courts who's going to find Evans. Evans now through to Burns, Burns is going to have the shot, yes he is, no he's not. It's a t oh my god, as if it slid underneath the goalkeeper's foot 
and it was a shot which was originally blocked. It falls back to Burns, and Burns manages to get his shot across goal. There's not too much Eastwood can actually do about it, uh, but to go 1 0 down so early on in such a crucial game is definitely not what I wanted to happen. Um, obviously now we can watch the replay and see what actually happened. It was a deflection off Guinness Walker and then somehow he still manages to hook his foot around it um, and get the shot into that far corner and Eastwood just can't quite stick his foot out to keep it out the net as we go 1-0 down. We now have the ball in our own half. It's Kelly who's going to pick out Henry and that little ball over the back falls to Sykes. There's no better person to go one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And yes, of course, we all know what the outcome was. He's going to finish that to put us back on level turns. And what you can see saying to them now is I can't hear you shouting any more. Sykes, once again, providing the goods for Oxford United. Great ball over the top there from Henry Sykes running onto it and there's only one sort of final product that it's going to deliver and that's with the keeper picking it out the back of the net. Fantastic goal to put us back on level terms. Just over the 25 minute mark, we have it in our own half. It's Tucker to pick out Brenagan in the centre. Now we saw it. Can he create anything? Little tap inside. See you later, kid. As he finds Kelly. Kelly now sees the overlap from Sykes. Sykes running into the box. Is he going to finish it? And once again, yes, he is. Um, I don't really need to say anything. When he's in those sort of positions, we know where he's going to stick it. And Sykes, in a matter of minutes, has put Oxford United in front in probably the most important game of the season. This guy knows what is on his shoulders, being the captain, the captain leading us forward, and this time with the left foot, he's going to swing it past the goalkeeper to make it 2-1, and I can see us losing him at the end of the season because he is just an absolutely phenomenal player. He's been our key player all season. Fleetwood now looking to answer back as they venture into our box just on the edge of it. It's with Duffy now who has actually ended in. He's going to pass it out now to Palmer. Palmer now looking for a pass back to Burns. We've got a lot of bodies back. They're struggling to break us down. Burns now back to Palmer. Palmer looking for that road into the box. He's going to pick up Burns again and they still can't find that opening. It's now to Rossi, Rossiter who's going to march forward. He's going to be intercepted by Kelly. Kelly's going to be intercepted as well. He's going to go back to Rossiter who's going to find Burns. Burns now marching into the box. He's going to find Evans. Evans has a shot and it's wafely wide. But they love to pass it around. Um, I've noticed about this FIFA they waste so much time just passing it around. But he's going to miss the target there and it's going to remain 2-1. Minutes left in this half as they look to push forward now. Fleetwood find Duffy. Duffy looks to march forward. What a tackle there from Moore. Takes the ball and the man. We push it forward now to Henry. Henry now a little cut back. He's going to see Kelly overlapping out wide. Kelly now sees Taylor. Taylor little flick through to Sykes. Sykes with the shot and that's a good save from the Fleetwood keeper. Keeping it down to 2-1. And once again, Sykes at the heart of that shot there. Good build-up play, um, obviously, from Henry out wide. Uh, like I said last game, he has been fantastic with his distribution. It's Henry now on the free kick to pick out Sykes. Just on the edge, he's going to try and flick it down. He's going to be intercepted now as Fleetwood look to march forward on the counter-attack. Have they got enough time? They're going to look to pass it back to Andrews. And the ref is going to say that is all for this half as we lead 2-1. Fantastic result at the moment. If we can keep it this way then we're definitely going to have a better chance of winning the league, depending on the whole results. Second half now underway, and it is ourselves to kick this one off. Leading 2-1, let's hope we can keep it that way. 60 minutes on the clock, Fleetwood passing it around out wide again. It goes to Quartz in the centre, he's going to pick out Camps. Camps now finds Eve Evans, and what a shot there, and I almost said Evans again. If I do that once more time, I'm actually going to give up. But Evans there with the shot, first time strike, and it's actually not a bad strike at all. It's a good leaping save there from Eastwood to push it wide for a corner. Um, and obviously if that had gone in, it would have been a different story here. Thankfully, Eastwood coming to the rescue with a double-handed save pushing it out for a corner. They step up now to take the corner. It's Morris over it. He's going to fizz it in to the box. It's along the wide to the back post. We're going to header it away. It falls to Sykes. Good chest control. It's going to turn himself out of danger as he looks to march forward now. Sykes with a crowd of bodies but still manages to get out of it. Sees Henry out wide. Henry marching forward. They've not got too many bodies back as we look to surge forward. It's an awful touch and they regain possession. 
70 minutes deep now. Fleetwood marching forward. Camps sees Gardner. Gardner sees Morris on the overlap. Morrison now. Morris, sorry, holding it back. It's back to Morris. Morris now with a shot. It's blocked by Claire. Claire getting up again. It's going to find Gardner. And it's a good save there from Eastwood once again, keeping the score down. And I don't know what the Fleetwood man was doing there, but it's going to be a goal kick. We gain control of the ball in our half. It's a great pass there from Telford to pick out Kai Kai. Kai Kai now marching forward. The defender can't quite catch him, but he's at a wrong angle. He's going to knock it back to Brown. Brown with the shot, and it's going to come off the bar. It's going to fall to Sykes. Sykes with the shot. It's deflected. It's going to fall to Henry. Another save from the goalkeeper, and they're going to get rid of the danger. 90 minutes. We need to hold on. We have a throw in in our half. It's Henry to find Sykes. Can Sykes just hold on to the ball? He's going to pick it out. Telford, Telford little drag back, over hit it, it's going to fall to Fleetwood now as they march forward for the last attack of the game, Gardner now moving forward finds Camps, Camps now tries to pick out Court and he doesn't quite play the pass and the ref is going to blow for full time and that is it, we've picked up the final three points today on the road at Fleetwood, we've done all we can do now, the rest is just a waiting game but those three points could be absolutely vital for that trophy. Mark Sykes again coming up trumps with that fantastic two goals, the brace that won us the game and obviously Eastwood as well and Unsung Hero making some crucial saves to keep the score line down. But there you have it. Currently we are top of the table with 84 points. Hull just behind us on 81 points with two games in hand. This is squeaky backside time we scored a lot of goals obviously it's FIFA you all end up you always end up scoring more but conceding loads don't ask me why it works that way it's just the way FIFA likes to do it Hull have got Portsmouth in their first game and then uh, Northampton in their second obviously Northampton near the bottom of the table and Portsmouth mid table this is all to play for and the league table has finished Hull lost 1-0 to Portsmouth and then beat Northampton 2-0, which means we finish on goal difference top of the table. We win the league, which is fantastic. It's another bit of silverware for our first season in charge. And obviously, I'm just absolutely ecstatic um, that we'll be going up as champions to the championship. Plymouth, Swindon, Northampton and Accrington Stanley are going to be relegated which is a shame but obviously it's been a long season for us if you did enjoy this series please drop it a like please subscribe please comment anything that you want to see and i'll catch you in the next season in the championship have a great day and goodbye